Hello, my name is Britta Hansen, and I am presenting on the relationship between climate change, infectious disease, and amphibians. Amphibians are currently experiencing mass extinction across the globe due to the infectious fungal disease, Chytridiomycosis. So far, this infection has caused the extinction of over 100 species of amphibians, which is more species than any other infectious disease. The loss of these species is proving detrimental to the function and biodiversity of ecosystems and predator-prey relationships. The fungal disease causes excessive shedding of skin, lethargy, and sometimes thickening of the skin, which then prevents the frog from taking in essential nutrients through its pores. Climate change has been identified as a leading factor in the spread of this disease. First, it is important to recognize the relationship between climate change and infectious disease in general. Some consequences of the changing climate include longer warmer seasons, as well as more extreme weather patterns, including hurricanes, tornadoes, tsunamis, droughts, and floods. Many pathogens that carry infectious diseases that usually die off during the cold seasons will live longer. Therefore, will likely infect more individuals. There is also an increase in standing water and breeding sites for insects that carry these diseases. The extreme storms displace larger carriers of pathogens, such as mice and rats, and will put a strain on any existing strategies that these organisms have for defending themselves against the infectious diseases. Dangerous weather events are more damaging in developing countries. These countries often have poor infrastructure to support the damage the storms induce and have fewer resources to treat the diseases that emerge. Therefore, as effects of climate change continue to become more pronounced, infectious diseases will become more challenging to prevent, control, and treat. Scientists are beginning to study chytridiomycosis in frog populations to better understand how this infectious fungal disease has become so effective at wiping out entire species of amphibians in recent years. One study looks at the infection rates in frogs in Lake Arlet in France, a mountainous region with high altitude, particularly prone to climate change. The study looked at the relationship between onset of lake thaw and rate of infection in four species of frogs every summer for seven years. It found that the earlier the lake thawed, the higher the infection rate of the fungal disease in all four species. One species that had previously not been susceptible to the disease was found with increasing rates of infection, suggesting that the warmer climate is inhibiting its defenses. Amphibian species all over the world are being affected by this emerging infectious disease, and studies are currently being conducted in the Caribbean as well, looking at the relationship between drought and the disease. More and more studies are showing the correlation between climate change and increasing rates of infectious disease. This is a frightening prospect, as climate prediction models are only predicting a continuation of climate change. Amphibians are essential to the success of their ecosystems, and without them, their habitats are suffering. So, what can we do? We can use weather prediction models to predict which seasons will be warmer than others, and plan accordingly for more infectious diseases. Because there have been found to be a positive correlation between infectious disease and climate change, it can be predicted that humans, plants, and animals will have to fight harder against these diseases and build new defenses and coping strategies. As for the amphibians, scientists are experimenting with different treatments to chytridiomycosis, but they are expensive and difficult to administer in large quantities and across entire habitats, and are therefore not currently a viable solution. 
Scientists are currently collecting species in danger and breeding them in captivity with the hope of being able to reintroduce them into the wild once the threat of the fungal disease is in better control. Above all, this research further proves the drastic need for humans to take climate change seriously and change our ways so that ourselves and other species can continue to inhabit this earth. These are my sources.